So, let's get going. Um, basically gonna rip this thing back off now. And we'll just split this thing right down and see what they're made of. So, this is a Motion Pro flywheel puller. Part number is 08-0026. I will put a link to one down in the comments or description. Um, really make short work of pulling one of these flywheels off and it's the right way to do it. <clears throat> so this is reverse threads into the flywheel. You turn that guy in until it's tight and then turn the center in clockwise so you can get the flywheel here. Now we're gonna take a 17 mil, just <coughs> boom, it's off. Puller. There's our flywheel. Now the Saturn needs to come off. That's held, held on with two bolts, 10 millimeter bolt. Got a flywheel key here too. Easy way to get those out is with a pair of side cutters. Just kind of pinch it and pull up on it. Bolted this head again already. Pick that off. I only so it looks like probably just pull this pin, and loosen this nailing head up right here. Yeah, it'll slide right out of there now. Now he's gonna unbolt the jug and we are good to go. 14 on the bottom. Piston broke right at the uh, pin on the top ring. Just a little chunk out of it. The ring actually still moves, that's amazing. seems a little stuck, see so if we can snap it out. It's moving. We know it's going to need a new one anyhow. Not worried about damage or nothing. It's really tight. Next step here is really just pulling the uh, clutch cover off. It's gonna be a series of eight millimeter bolts. The ones in your water pump are probably longer. Go all the way through, you can see right here that that's got a shaft all the way into there. So we'll just grab an eight mil, start popping these. Switch over to a 10 mil, pull these springs off. Now the pressure plate should just come right off, like so. That's a pusher for the pressure plate. The clutch actuates from the left side of the engine when it's sitting on the bike and it just pushes 
that out. Push it against springs, takes pressure off of these so they can uh, turn. Good news, uh, looks like we have an aftermarket clutch basket here, probably a Hinson. This, this nut holds the clutch center down and effectively should hold down the uh, clutch basket as well. Um, there's generally a tab bent over it. Just a flathead screwdriver should take care of the job for you. That was way too easy. Yep. That's going to snap off now. It's been bent a few times. And we need a socket for that. It's going to be a 27. They're pretty common. Yes. Now we should be able to take this whole basket right off. Grab this washer too so that just doesn't fall out. I just kind of throw all my clutch parts together in a bin. So there it is, the entire basket. I really kind of expected to find a burnt up clutch in here. So this is a little bit of a surprise. Yeah, these plates look good. Somebody, somebody definitely replaced this. We can stick that shifter back on, really get a feel for this transmission. Basically how this works is your primary drive gear on your crank drives your clutch basket. Your clutch basket engages the clutch center when your clutch is out, which allows this shaft here to turn. So right now we're in neutral. I can turn this and I can hold it. So I'm gonna pop it down into first gear. It's moving nice and smooth in first gear. We come back, we find neutral real easy. There it goes. Second gear, second gear feels good. Third gear, third gear feels good. Fourth, once again feels nice. And finally, I think we got it. There she goes, fifth gear. That feels good as well. So really, that kind of tells us what we need to know. Um, we know the clutch is good now. We know transmission shifts good. Everything feels fine. I guess, because I'll probably pop this back together now for the vapor blast. Well, So here the motor is back, vapor blasted from Josh Traxler. Still have to open it up and change everything out. When Josh added, he also um, blasted the power valve parts and the water pump. Came out looking nice. Right here we got a new wrench rabbit kit for the engine. Comes with a complete Vertex gasket set. Oop. Water pump kit, bearings and seals, stickers, transmission bearing kit, main bearing and seal kit.
and an engine oil sealed cap. New vertex piston. And a hot rods crank. get these kits from Don at D&D Power Sports. Phone number there is area code 585-589-4131. I put the engine back together without the piston and the clutch. So this is showing you taking the rest of the motor apart here after vapor blasting. The key as you're disassembling is just to keep your parts organized. As you're reassembling, you'll be looking at the parts diagrams, which will show you exactly how everything goes back together. Now I'm going to prep the cases to pop in the oven and hopefully the bearings should come right out. What we need to do is break two bolts loose over here. The bolts and these small retainers for this bearing, which is on your gear, or for your gear shifting can. And over here on the left case half, we've got two screws holding retainers into this bearing. What I'm going to use for that is an impact screwdriver. Keeps from screwing these things up. There's the retainers and the screws. These have to go back in a certain way. They are beveled to accept these screws and fit flush. We need to pop this rubber seal out. We get a new one in the Wrench Rabbit kit. So that's just going to be trash. We're going to pull this small seal out. That's going to be reused. Over here, we need to remove the crank seal. Here as well, the other crank seal and our sprocket seal. There it goes. Also, we're going to take our shifter seal right now. This will probably fall right out, but our clutch arm seal. Now that one bearing actually pushed out while I was trying to push on that seal. So it's almost out now. Just give me an idea what these uh, crank bearings sound like. A little dry. Alright, so I'm going to pop these in the oven. Hopefully uh, what's left in it will just fall right out.